Hey, I'm looking for a water pump for a 2006 Subaru STI. Thank you, man. I think it's finally time to fix some of the little issues that we are having with this car before we do any other mods. The main issue being a coolant leak that we have. 99% sure it's coming from the water pump. Well, I know it's coming from the water pump. So we went and picked up a new aftermarket water pump this morning. I wish we could have found an OEM one here locally, but we couldn't. So this one should do the trick. There is a lifetime warranty on this guy as well. So we're gonna be getting the water pump changed out on the car. We already did do the gasket like a week ago and it is still leaking as you can see. And we're also gonna be taking off the aftermarket oil cooler and putting the factory OEM STI oil cooler back on the car. Just because the setup that's on here, I think like it's a nice setup. I'm pretty sure it's the MA Performance setup, but it's missing all the brackets. When I got the car, the oil cooler was just flopping around. I took the bumper off and the oil cooler literally fell on the ground. I'm just gonna change that up for the OEM one right now, get all the issues, the little issues sorted out with the car, and then we can kind of go from there. It's pretty easy to pull a water pump. We just had it off about a week ago. So we're gonna pull off the radiator, pull off all these belts right here, crank pulley, timing covers, also pop off the timing belt as well. And then there'll be about five or six bolts holding the water pump onto the block. All right guys, we got the pump off. From what I remember, it was coming from, let's see, where was it? I feel like it was right above that little plug right there, or that rubber cap that runs over to the factory oil cooler. And it looked like it was coming from out of nowhere from underneath the car, but there's actually a weep hole. See that hole right there? There's a weep hole right above that. So I'm guessing it was leaking out of the weep hole, which means the seals in this water pump are shot. So we gotta swap over the thermostat and this elbow over to the new water pump, slap on the new gasket, obviously a new seal for the thermostat as well, throw it all back together and I am betting it is gonna take care of our issue. Okay, so we got all that finished up, timing covers back on, new water pump is on. We should be good to go. We can't put cool in it until we get the OEM oil cooler back on. There is a line that runs from the water pump over to the oil cooler, and then that circulates to the cooler and goes back into the block. So we're gonna have to get this aftermarket oil cooler swapped out real quick for the OEM one, get all the factory hoses, fittings, everything back on the car, and then we can fill it back up with oil 
and the coolant. We shouldn't have to drain all the oil, just whatever. I guess just unscrew the oil filter and whatever comes out, comes out. And then we can refill it when we're all finished up. All right, so I went to put on the OEM oil cooler and there is a very, very long bolt. I completely forgot about it. I don't have that here, so I'm gonna have to go run down to the valley, jump on the bike real quick. It's about a 45 minute ride. Grab that bolt from the person I bought the oil cooler from. And while I'm down there, I also need, what was it? Oh, the coolant overflow or the coolant reservoir that sits on the radiator, I need that. And I'm also gonna see if he has the OEM airbag for 06, 07 STI, because clearly it's a lot different than the 04 to 05. <laughs> Okay, so we got the oil cooler bolt we need and also the coolant uh, like overflow tank that we need as well. Unfortunately, he did not have an airbag for 0607. 04 is different, 05 is different, 0607 are the same. So we are still on the search for an airbag for this car. Let's finish up this little project, get the car all back together, throw some oil back in it, coolant, and we should be good to go with that coolant leak. All right, she's all finished up. Let's go ahead, start it up, let it idle for a bit, make sure you don't have any leaks and then shut it off. And that's when that water pump was leaking when it would sit for like an hour plus. There would be just a tiny puddle on the ground. All right, I don't see any leaks whatsoever. Let's let it sit for about an hour, and if it's gonna leak, it'll leak within the hour for sure. Okay, it's been sitting for a little over an hour, and there are no leaks where it used to leak. So I think we are completely good to go there. While I wouldn't highly recommend the water pump that we just installed, I always would recommend OEM. I'll have an OEM one link down below. I think this one will do the trick. If it starts leaking in the future, say thousands and thousands of miles down the road, we can swap it out then. The red seats are all cleaned up, they're dry. Let's throw them in the car real quick and we're gonna head out and go meet up with the guy that wants to trade for his stock seats. I'm really excited to get factory seats back in the car and a factory steering wheel. It should make it a little bit more comfortable for me to drive. Finally got those things to shut up. It's actually really easy to do. If you just hold down this silver button right here as you start up the car, and then five seconds after it's done with the sweep, that annoying freaking beep will go away. These are gonna be the last that you guys see of these seats. I came to pick up Bobby, and I'm kind of nervous because Bobby's seat is not bolted down whatsoever. There's not a single bolt holding your seat in just because we're getting a trade right now. So it might be kind of a funny thing when she sits down and she uh, falls over. These actually look really freaking nice. Yeah, I was hoping you'd fall all the way back. <laughs> you ready to go on a ride? <laughs> Honey? Yeah? Dude, this is really ghetto. It's a, that's how you make the... <laughs> that's how you make... Is this how you get the full experience when you're going fast? That's how you make it um, recline. Holy shit, it's hot in here. It's because I'm in here. Can you remove your seat, please? Look how dirty the door panels are. That's all pollen. It's gonna make me sneeze. 
My butt, babe, is literally drenched. I know. Need help? Yeah, help. <laughs> oh my god, look at my butt. You lost a little something. Look at it. Your butt's gonna get wet. Alright. Are you mentally okay? No. All right, let me Come here, let me, let me smell you. Are you smelling sexy for mama tonight? Yeah. Oh. Hey, uh, my brother is actually down the street here. Guys, hey. Hey. I love your content. Thank you, Sarah <laughs> Gay. Awesome. You got your new seat, babe? Yes. She meant. Wow, we are back to the red seats. So, long story short, all the wiring for an 05 was different for 06. We have four wiring plugins on the 06, and on the 05 seat, there was only two wiring plugins. So we're back to square one with the red seats. It didn't really work out, it kinda sucks, but there is someone else from like a couple hours away that was wanting to trade with an 06. I never thought that would be different. The G. You know, out of all my years and experience of Subaru, I never would have found it. 